Welcome everybody, finally, to the wedding of Olga and Brett. Olga and Brett would like to thank each of you for being here with them today. They're delighted that you're here today to share in their joy during this really wonderful moment in their lives. Brett and Olga would also like to acknowledge those who cannot be present here today. Olga's mother back in Russia and Olga's father, who is most certainly here in spirit. Oh, all right, let's see. Let's see how far I can, I can get through this. <clears throat> Olga, little did I know after our first date that we would wind up here. What started as a date with a very cute, inquisitive Russian journalist quickly grew into a relationship with a beautiful woman, a woman that I love, my special person, my best friend, and my soulmate. The one I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. My dear Brett, you are the love of my life, my person, my soulmate. I didn't know this when I first met you, but I know this now. When we started dating, I had no idea we would eventually have to say goodbye at the airport, nor I understand the weight of that moment. My world shattered. They say you never really know what you have until it's gone, and while I knew we had something special, I never felt it more clearly than in your absence. That was when I knew, beyond all doubt, that you were the one for me, and that I had to get you back. The 591 days that we spent without being able to hold each other have done their damage, and nearly three years apart have left their mark. Yet holding you at the airport for the first time in so long felt immediate. Waiting for you was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but it was worth it because I knew you were worth the wait. The second I saw your face and gave you a giant hug in the airport three weeks ago today, the last three years of waiting completely melted away. But what kept me going despite all the hardship was a glimmer of hope, a beacon of light that you had once helped create in my imagination. The vision is simple. It is of the two of us, 50 years from now, sitting together in a rocking chairs on a porch, <laughs> on a porch in our home in Texas, or wherever this may be, drinking coffee. We may be sitting silently, not uttering a word, but we will know with every cell in our bodies that we're not alone and that neither of us will ever feel alone in this marriage. I promise you to always remember our past adventures and roller coaster love story fondly, and I promise you to use them as inspiration and a source of strength in good times and bad. I promise to look in the same direction as you do and build towards a future together. I promise you to try my best to live in the now, to be happy with who we are today without trying to change each other. I promise to be a better listener, a person you'd always want to come to first when you want to share your successes, plan new adventures, and get over losses. I will be your safe harbor and a place we call home. I promise to be a forever generator of silly laughs and funny noises that will hopefully take you out of your gloomier moments. I promise to be your partner in your most important life adventures. I promise to always be the person you can count on and lean on in both good, time, good times and bad. And my love, I also promise to laugh at your jokes wholeheartedly and with abandon for as long as my chest expands and my lungs fill up with air until my last breath. I love you with all my
Are you I promise to make it worth the wait for you too. I promise to be a better partner for you. I promise to care for you when you're hurting. I promise to follow through with our agreement to take you out for margaritas and Mexican food whenever we have a fight. I promise to never go to bed angry despite how much I may want to at that moment. I promise to make you laugh every day, especially when you're hurting. I promise we will get that fat little Frenchie you've been clamoring for for all these years. I promise that I will take you to the beach whenever you need a break or to recover from a long week. I promise to continue to fill your head with random Simpsons quotes and other useless pop culture references. I promise to teach you how to drive, but I promise I will always be your chauffeur. I promise to tell you how beautiful you are each and every day that you never forget. I promise to listen to you and to be a shoulder for you to cry on. I promise to make you feel loved and to make up for the times in which you don't. I promise to keep the promise I made to both of your parents to always love, protect, and care for you. I promise that with me, you will never be alone. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Yeah.